Good morning, everybody. My name's Bob, W5SFR from my ham friends, which I have been neglecting for a while. <laughs> um, and uh, playing old mountaintop Bob from every, for everybody else. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, put a video on YouTube. It's been almost a month, and um, but I haven't forgot about it. I've been collecting some new equipment, which I did. Um, I got a... Uh, uh, 55 to 250 millimeter lens um, since the last video I put out so I've been learning about it and um, been in school <laughs> every morning when I'm supposed to be on the, on my net with the ham guys I've been uh, studying on YouTube how to make my channel a better channel more entertaining um, and I've learned quite a bit um, so um, the reason for the 55 to 200 millimeter lens was I, want, I like wildlife photography. So there's some of that. And at the end of this video, there's some uh, um, birds in flight. Let's see, I'm not sure. There's, I think there's some horses. Um, maybe, I can't remember. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I've learned um, since I have re, um, bought the Canon um, 77D. Um, and I'm really having a lot of fun with it. I didn't expect the photography side of this camera to uh, take over so fast, but it has. And I've neglected the videos, and um, but I really wanted to get a, take some time and step back and learn, and uh, actually get on and learn about YouTube as well. So I've, I've done that a lot of schooling about how to set up a YouTube channel because I just uh, you know was flying by the seat of my pants, so to speak, and. Uh, jumped out there and started putting videos without having any clue what I was doing. So this is uh, where we're at now. Um, this this uh, section here is going to be quite long. As usual, if you're uh, tired of listening already to me, Jabber Jaw, then you can go to a place in the video where it says photos start here. I don't believe there's any video in that part of this video. Wow. Um, okay, so let's step back first and... Um, I really, really have to say thank you once again, and often I'm going to say thank you to the to the Navajo um, for the use of the nation <laughs> um, for what it is. I go right out my gate and take a and hang a left and go out there. It's wide open spaces, and there you are. I'm on the edge of the nation on uh, the this end. I'm just going to say this end of uh, Blue Water Lake. Um, the lake's quite far away these days, so. Anyway, um, and I've been using that that lake this end, which is on the, from what I understand, the part of the lake that I go to to shoot um, the ducks. And you're going to hear a lot of stuff out here is where I go to shoot the um, um, prairie dogs. And here's, I'm, I'm going to go shoot some ducks. <laughs> uh, put my guns down. I got a cannon. <laughs> and I'm loving it because I get to shoot the heck out of them and I get to bring them home with me but um, they're still flying and um, or crawling or digging or whatever it is they're doing out there so I'm having a lot of fun with this cannon <laughs> alright so um, anyway let's see um, another thing that was going on I didn't want to talk about um, we did our um, uh, COVID vaccinations um, we did the first one and I don't think we put a video, I don't think I put a video out since then. I don't know for sure. I'd have to go back and review them. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I'm not going to um, go into detail, but we, my, my wife did have a reaction to something um, just a couple days after she took the shot. We had to get her to the doctor. She didn't go to the emergency room, but we did take her to the doctor. And it looks like she had a mild case of, um, I forget what it's called, something palsy. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. But anyway, it went away as fast as it came, and it just was most likely just a coincidence, according to the doctors and everybody in the know, that um, it was just a coincidence that it happened. But um, we went ahead and did our second shot, and that was uh, Sunday. We did that, so and we're feeling fine. Um, I will say that um, right after both of us, right after the second shot, the second day, um, not the day we took the shot, but the next day, we both felt like we were coming down with the worst flu we have ever had. And 
the next day we felt like we were um, 90% um, over the worst flu we ever had. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. It's like we didn't have to do the flu part. We just had to do the part catching it and then the part overcoming it. Everything in between, there was nothing. We slept that off in 24 hours. It was gone. And, um, and then the next day we had a sore arm. Um, the next day we were up and about doing everything that we normally do. So there you have it. Um, and that was the Medina, Moderna, whatever, the one that starts with an M. I'm not a doctor. Don't pretend to be. <laughs> um, but we did do the shot and we're both fine and um, everything's kosher and um, I'm having fun making videos. Um, Alright, so back to the video. Um, what my plans are and what I've been learning um, on YouTube from some very intelligent people that have um, been doing this for quite some time and obviously uh, from their um, viewers and their viewer count and all that stuff, I don't know what you call that, their logarithm or whatever, they're quite successful. So those are the guys that I listen to and so I'm trying to learn about doing the storytelling and get back into the videos and quit taking so many pictures. <laughs> um, but anyway, so there's a lot of photographs at the end of this one and this is probably going to wrap up um, this format. Um, that's why I'm making this kind of long. Um, this uh, video here will probably be the end of this format where I get in front of the camera and talk and then show some pictures at the end of it. Um, we had one video that, um, and I'm saying we now because Susie's in it. Susie's in uh, the next one that's coming up. It's all about video and not so much about pictures. Um, there's a few pictures, but not a lot. Um, anyway, so um, so Susie's in that one, and it's more video, and I'm going to start making more video and less photography and get back to what I'm supposed to be doing. So this is the the last one of this format. I hope everybody enjoys it. And um, this particular one here, I had a lot of fun. Uh, oh, I know what this one's about. I remember, see, because it's been a month since I shot all this. Um, in this video, I have the um, worm moon. Um, in all its glory. I have a couple days of it and um, I have a um, I'm pretty sure there's um, I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning and got a pretty another pretty good shot of the Milky Way. It's in there. Let's see what else. I got some really cool duck shots in flight. I got some little birds in uh, flight shots um, and some ground uh, no, um, prairie dogs lots of prairie dogs oh and I know there's a at rock close to the end of this video there's a hawk or a, uh, uh, he, I don't know what he is you tell me if anybody knows tell me what he is he's a big old boy though if he is a boy and um, but I fell over backwards to get those shots and they turned out excellent and I'm real proud of those so there's a quite a few of those in there um, he's a big old bird of praise all I can tell you I don't know if he's a hawk or an eagle or what he's just big and pretty um, and but uh, it's mostly belly shots. Um, so let's see what else. Um, we had a snowstorm, the last snowstorm of the year, and I got some pretty cool shots of the after the snowstorm, after the snow was down, before anybody stepped in and started melting. Um, and I got some shots of the horses came up in the snowstorm, and they actually had ice hanging off of them. And the wind was blowing pretty hard, so they got to the side of the house, out of the wind. I went around and shot some shots of, got some shots of them, and so they're in there, all edited and um, filling the screen full. <laughs> um, but it's, it was a rough, uh, rough snowstorm. The Navajo really got snowed on, and uh, but a couple of days later, it was all gone, and here we are in springtime. Everything's starting to turn green. The little birds are coming back and flying around. It's just, it's going to be a wonderful spring. I can feel it in the air. And uh, we're going to be able to get out and do more this year since we've had our vaccinations. So hopefully that's going to give us the opportunity to get out to uh, Chaco Canyon and other places. And that brings me to the end of this portion of this video. Um, in the future, the next one, and it'll be going up either today as, as it'll go up right after this one. It's already shot as, I guess, in in uh, filming industry, it's called It's In The Can. <laughs> I got to do a, a little talking, stick in front of it. Very little talking because uh, it's a long video already. I'm real proud of it. Um, but anyway, 
Um, so we had one video that turned out real well and bumped me up over a thousand views and that was fun. Um, but the rest of them still not doing all that great. But we're going to keep plugging away and see how it goes. Um, so in the future, we'll be trying to tell stories. And the stories that I'm looking at at the moment that I'm going to do is we know of a cabin. Um, it's old. I don't know how old. We'll find out. Um, and I have to still locate it. So that'll be a story in itself. Finding this cabin, find out how old it really is. It's a log cabin. It's up in the forest. And <clears throat> there's some uh, waterfalls up there. I don't know where they're at. That'll be some more stories <laughs> trying to find and locate them and video the trip up there finding them. Um, and there's an old military, we think, um, um, some old military ruins or something. There's a cistern. I'm not sure what all. I've just seen a few little pictures of it. Um, and I have to go locate that. So there's hopefully going to be three stories that will be coming up in the near future. And I'll just make a story out of each and one of those, trying to find them and um, vote, photographing them and videoing the, you know, the location of them and talking about them. Um, I'm finding that the Navajo Nation is such a great and wonderful place for photography and the outdoor lifestyle. Um, if you're not into the outdoor lifestyle, you might want to avoid <laughs> this area. But wow, for me and my wife, we're just having one more excellent time here. We love it. So that being said, I'm going to um, end this now and so I can get it added to the video that goes in front of me and get this thing posted. Um, you got the hay from the Navajo Nation. This is Mountaintop Bob, W5, SFR, Whiskey 5, Sierra, Fonstrop, Romeo, um, on this end of Blue Water Lake. 73s, everybody.